All right, let's check in on U.S. House races. In the 10th Congressional District, eight Republicans vying for the seat that Jody Heiss is leaving to run for Secretary of State. Uh, this is, <laughs> we're looking at the Secretary of State's race here, so let's talk about that. Uh, Brad Raffensperger has increased his lead 52% uh, to 34% for Congressman Jody Heiss, who again, uh, all right, now we have Doug Evans, our Fox 5's Doug Evans is with Secretary of State Raffensperger uh, right now for a live interview. He must be feeling a lot better than he was a few hours ago, Doug, I imagine. I think he is, Russ, and I think we're about to hear an announcement from Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger yeah, right, right now. Okay. Well, tonight is a come from behind victory celebration. You know, I was writing this little talk out my little short speech here, but a year ago, the political pundits on both sides of the aisle said I had a 10% support and it was hopeless. But internally, I talked to my team and we joked about it. And we even sometimes had that gallows humor. Mm -hmm. If you remember that movie with Jim Carrey, where it had 10%, he says, but just say you got a chance. <laughs> and I seriously did think that we had a chance because when I really thought about it and dug deep and, and thought about the situation where we were, in my heart of hearts, I didn't think that the experts were really looking at this the right way. My thinking was the vast majority of Jordans are looking for honest people for elected office. Someone who would do their job, follow the law, and look out for them regardless of the personal cost to do so. I think people are tired of the arguing and bickering and they're tired of the incompetence, particularly what goes on in Washington, D.C. Aren't we all ready for a new direction? A direction that we first look upward so we can move forward. So I started visiting people all over Georgia with over 40,000 miles in my truck. In one year, I was out there visiting, talking, and meeting and sharing. And I had some you know, great times meeting wonderful people. Luke Bryan is spot on. Most people are good. In fact, most Georgians are wonderful. And today, we found our proof. Standing for you, standing for the rule of law and election integrity, and standing for the truth, and not buckling under the pressure is what people want. I was elected to serve the people, and so I shall, and so I have. It is very difficult for me to express our deep gratitude to everyone who has voted for me. We did have days of challenge, and you came alongside us. You were a, ref you were a refreshing breeze. Tricia and I are ever grateful for you. Thank you for coming to our election night party so Tricia and I could thank you personally. Y'all are awesome. And I am humbled by the outpouring of support that we have received all over Georgia. Thank you, Lord, for blessing our campaign with such great, wonderful people who have come alongside with us. Running a statewide campaign is a tall order, and we assembled a team that is absolutely amazing. This is my third campaign with Jordan Fuchs as my campaign manager. Tricia and I trust Jordan's judgment, and it is superb. My chief operating officer, Gabriel Sterling, is more than just our COO. Gabe was my campaign manager when I ran for city council 10 years ago. Between Jordan and Gabe, they have a handle on how to run a campaign. And while I was running this campaign for Secretary of State, my team was doing double time because Jordan stepped out as my deputy to help manage this campaign, and she's done a tremendous job. But I do want to give a shout out to Gabriel Sterling and my general counsel, Ryan Germany. Y'all are tremendous. What I have found is that every Georgian wants safe and secure elections with the right balance of accessibility with security. That's where Georgia voting is today. We now have photo ID for all forms of voting. And the Heritage Foundation has found Georgia, under my watch, number one for election integrity. I am tremendously grateful for Tricia. She's been my love since high school. And some of you got to meet her for the very first time tonight. 
She has a smile that melts my heart and she'll melt yours. She means everything to me. But as Tricia said so eloquently in our book that we did, it's called Integrity Counts, we stand together, but we stand not alone. Thank you for standing with us. So we will have another contest this year in November, so our work's not done yet. Will you stand with us together so we can make sure that only Americans vote in our elections, so that Georgia remains a great place to raise a family, to build a business, to find a career? This is Georgia. We love it, and we know you do too. God bless you, and thank you very much for your support in helping us win this race for renomination as your Republican Secretary of State. Thank you, and God bless, and good night. So just to be clear, you're claiming outright victory. Tonight. Yes, sir, I am. Yeah, we have about 30, 52% right now, and we're claiming victory. There's not enough out there to change. It's only going to get stronger when we look at the counties that are going to be coming in. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> what, what would you say? <laughs> what would you say to those Republicans who did not vote for you in this? There's going to be a lot of talk of unifying this party in November. What do you say to those? Well, I would tell everyone, I wrote a 10-page letter to Congress uh, in January 2021. We wrote a book called Integrity Counts. It's all based on the facts. But if you don't understand what happened in the election of 2020, here's what happened. 28,000 Georgians skipped the presidential race and yet voted down ballot in other races. And then in, if you look at the Republican congressmen, they got 33,000 more votes than President Trump. And that's why President Trump came up short. But every single allegation we've investigated. In fact, as Secretary of State, I've passed over four and moved, pushed over 400 election fraud cases over to the Attorney General's office or local DAs. That's a record for prosecution. So we've investigated everything, and it never you know, would have overturned the results of the race. But likewise, if you look at this election, this primary race that we've just had, we've had record turnout. We had 850,000 people voted early before we even got you know, to today's race, and then we have the turnout we have today. That beats what we had back in the 2018 gubernatorial race. People, after we passed the Election Integrity Act of 2021, they said it was going to suppress the vote. We have record turnout. We have record registrations. We have more days of early voting than President Biden has his in his home state of Delaware. He's got 10 in Delaware. We have 17 days here, mandatory in Georgia. But we now have photo ID for all forms of voting, which we know enhances security. And by doing that, it elevates confidence in our results. And that's why Heritage has recognized us for the very first time, number one for election integrity. Sir, is this result tonight a direct rebuke? Donald Trump? No, I think it's uh, a direct compliment to the goodness of my fellow Georgians. Secretary, what is your message to the Republicans who assume Okay. Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger declaring victory against uh, Jody Heiss and all others in the field tonight as he accepts his party's nomination uh, for the general election in November. All right. Doug, thank you so much. We heard directly from the man himself. He declared victory in his race, in his bid for re-election. We have more on the other side of this break.